Hi guys, um, welcome. Yes, if you want to, uh, this is like basically the class is base change, like today's session is. Uh, but uh, this is like one of the part of the entire arithmetic playlist. So we have the entire playlist. So you want to like uh, learn all other chapters of arithmetic as well. The link is in description. So please go along with that. But today our topic is in general that is base change. So what is base change? Base change is something where we use uh, like the base uh, is basically something like I'm giving you one example. Let's say base change is like when we are changing it in terms of other things. Like let's say I'm saying A is... 20% of B, then B is what percent of A? So this kind of things. When I'm changing like the base, I'm changing the reference frame. That is where we use base change. In fact, like some of the in profit loss cases also we use, like let's say 20% profit on cost price is equivalent to what percent profit on selling price. So that particular thing I will learn, like we will learn in profit loss, but for the time being, we first learn what is exactly base change and where we use base change and what are the questions where we can use base change very easily. So let's begin with this. A is 20% let's say a is 20% more than b then b is what percent less than a now if you can see like now my base is a in terms of b so i'm trying to find a in terms of b but now i need to find b in terms of a so my base is changing from b to a that's why it is known as base change if you want to do it generally like in a very generic way like in the very basic kind of way how we can solve this type of question that is first what we do we take generally b as 100 why b is 100 because my base is b in the initial question the base is b so generally i take the base as 100 if base is 100 so what is a a is 20 percent more than b which is 100 plus 20 upon 100 into 100 which is same as 120 so i can say if b is 100 a is nothing but 120 now if i find b is what percent less than a so I can see in 120, in when A is 120, when A is 120, B is 20 less, yes or no? When A is 120, B is 20 less. But I need to find it in terms of percentage. So this is not in terms of percentage. So I need to make it 100. So when A is 1, B is 20 upon 120 less, yes or no, by unitary method. When A is 100, in that case, B is... 20 upon 120 into 100 less which is same as it is 6 so 100 upon 6 is 16.67 percent i hope i have made you understood like how these things work exactly now the next step what i want to make you understand like what is a shortcut to solve these type of questions so first just let's understand this now the shortcut for this i know what is 20 percent right now i'm using that particular concept where we have already used like percentage to fraction conversion what percentage to fraction so 20 percent is nothing but one upon five right now if i'm having one upon five now if i'm changing base and my base is increasing so which one is more b or a a is more so my base is basically increasing so i can say the base is what the base is here base is increasing so very important thing the base is increasing so whenever the base is increasing so my answer would have been then numerator upon denominator plus numerator whenever i'm changing the base if i'm base is if i'm changing the base and the base is also increasing then the shortcut is numerator upon denominator plus numerator now what is numerator one what is denominator five so 1 upon 5 plus 1, which is 1 upon 6. So B is 1 sixth less than A. And 1 sixth is what percentage? 1 sixth we already know that is 16.67%. So this is the shortcut to solve this question. So please remember when the base is increasing, we do numerator upon denominator plus numerator. And here is the example of this. Now check the next one. Now what about the next? A is 20% less than B and B is what percent more? Now, if A is less than B, so again, I have to take B because my base is B, so B is 100. And A is 20% less. So, now A is basically 100 minus 20, which is 80. Now, if A is 20% less, so A has become 80 and B is 100. So, when A is 20, if I'm changing the base, when A is 20, B is more by 20 sorry when a is 80 b is more by 20 so for 1 this is 20 upon 80 and for 100 it is 100 into 20 upon 80 so your answer is 25 percent so this is the generic method so like i'm changing the base from b to a in the case of n it is less 
Now for the shortcut, so what is 20%? 20% is 1 upon 5. Now my base is decreasing. What is happening? The base is decreasing. You can see in the screen also that what is basically happening, the base is decreasing. Now when the base is decreasing, the formula becomes numerator upon denominator minus numerator. So it is nothing but 1 upon 5 minus 1, which is 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4 is same as 25%. So hence your answer is 25%. So I can directly answer like B is what percent less? That is 24% less. So this is how we use generally base change. And remember in case of base change, the one of the most important intriguing factor is that like this kind of question we can very easily solve if we remember like the fraction to percentage conversion. So this is like very important and please pay proper attention while doing all this type of question. There are two things you have to be have to remember. One is when it is increasing and when it is decreasing. Base increasing, you add denominator plus numerator. Base decreasing, you do denominator minus numerator. And this is how it works. Now think about this kind of question. Ground oil is being sold at rupees 36 per kg. What are it sold at 36 per kg, which is 11.11% more than is cost during the last month. By how much percent the family should reduce the consumption this month so as to keep the expenditure the same. So it is 11.11% more. So what can I say? The price increased by 11.11%, right? The price is increased by 11.11%. And if my expenditure is same, expenditure is what? Price into consumption. If my expenditure is same, the consumption has to be less. If price is increasing, that means what? My base is increasing, right? Now, what is 11.11%? 11.11% is nothing but 1 upon 9. We have already learned in the percentage first wala cases may when we have learned fraction to percentage so 11.11 percent is 1 upon 9 so 1 upon 9 is basically increased so what is increased the price so the consumption should have been decreased now if the price is increasing so price value let's us saw tha, if now it is 11.11 so the price is increasing that means the base is increasing so by how much percent you reduced consumption that is numerator upon denominator plus numerator which is same as 1 upon 9 plus 1 which is nothing but 1 upon 10, which is same as 10%. So what is your answer? The answer is 10% direct. Now how you solve this type of question also, it is also very important. Like let's say we have not used anything and we solve this question. Now if you want to use the data, then also by using data also you can solve this question. So it is sold at rupees 36 per kg. Is the cost during the last month, obviously. So now you have to understand like now it is sold to this thing so what it is exactly being sold in before that you need to understand right so it's if you say this thing like ground oil is being sold at rupees 36 per kg which is 11.11 percent more than the cost during the last month do you understand this so now if the price is increasing in this case you also without even taking this 36 you can take this is as 100 is there that is the price initially now it has increased by 11.11 and let's say your consumption is also uh, let's say your expenditure was 10,000 now what is your expenditure it is 10,000 upon 111.11 so in this way also you can solve this type of question there is no problem in it so this will kind of give you around 90 so what is the percentage decrease that is uh, this is the exact percentage decrease which we can say that is 90 percent uh, then the decrease has to be 10 percent so this is one way you can solve this type of question so i think you have understood how we can solve this question but this thing you don't need to do you have to do in this way that's why this way is much more important and crucial so the next case is um, Due to fall in manpower, the production on a factory decreases by 12.5%. Now it is decreasing. So if the production and the production in a factory decreases by 12.5% due to fall in manpower, by what percent should the working hours be increased to restore the original level? So already it is decreasing. So what is 12.5%? 12.5% is nothing but 1 upon 8. Now it is said it has been decreased. What is it? It has been decreased. Now if it is decreased, that means the base is decreasing. The base kya The base is decreasing. So when the base is decreasing, the formula becomes numerator upon denominator minus numerator. So your answer is 1 upon 8 minus 1, which is 1 upon 7. Now 1 upon 7 is equivalent to 14.28%. 
Now, if you remember this thing, how you can see how fast we can solve this type of questions. So, hence your answer is 14.28%. So, I'm trying to help you to use this particular concept to solve this type of questions very fast. Am I clear? So, whenever you are trying to use this kind of concept, this is easier for you to solve this type of question. Otherwise, also you can solve this type of question like this. Let's say if production was 100. Now, it is decreased by what? 12.5. So, it has become 87.5. Now you have to increase 12.5 out of what 87.5 to get back to 100 yes or not so just multiply with 100 so which is also same as 14.28 percent but you can see how many calculation and how much calculation you have to do to just solve it like this way so what i have done initial was 100 12.5 less now it has become 87.5 now if i want to go back to 100 so i need to increase 12.5 but this 12.5 has to be increased in 87.5 so 12.5 by 87.5 into 100 that gives you the answer which is also same as 14.28 percent but they are not exactly same while you are solving because this is much more easier this is much more uh, more complex and like more time taking method so please understand this method very clear careful carefully like when i'm increasing and when i'm decreasing base is decreasing subtract base is increasing add this is the base thing you have to understand and remember next question is also based on these things like uh, the commission of a broker decreased by 25 percent by how much percent should he increase now if it is decreasing the commission is decreasing right if the commission is decreasing that means what is 25 percent 25 percent is 1 upon 4 now as because it is decreasing that means your base is basically decreasing so when your base is decreasing the formula becomes numerator upon denominator minus numerator so your answer is 1 by 4 minus 1 which is 1 upon 3 now what is the 1 upon 3 that is 33.33 percent so by this person you have to increase so your answer is c 33.33 percent right that is your answer but think about if you wanted to solve it in general ways so you have to take 100 is like total his like let's say his income now it is decreased by 25 percent so it is minus 25 so how much it will become 75 now if i need to go back to 100 i have to increase by 25 out of what 75 into 100 and that is also giving you the same answer so that's why i generally prefer to do it like this way because it is a faster method and gives uh, you answer in a very less amount of time so this is all about base change and i hope i have you have understood like how we can use base change to solve this type of question so I'll see you in next in successive also. So see you guys in successive.